What's going on guys? It's your boy ATF Cobra and sorry it took so long but here's your tips and tricks on how to win squad deathmatch. Now squad deathmatch is probably one of the hardest game modes to play in Battlefield 3 because of the fact that four squads are uh, put up against four other, uh, three other squads so it's four squads of four all playing together and it can make for a very frustrating game when you're getting killed from three different angles. So these tips and tricks are going to help you guys win. Um, and actually uh, play to the best that you can so bring your a game. I brought my a game I was using the m16 a3. I wanted to win these games and I did I think I won all five of these games I played about five games in Total and I won all five of them not single-handedly. I did do most of the work, but uh, not to brag or anything, but um, it, It's it's pretty fun to carry your team on your back It makes for very uh, you know tense moments because this game we won and the next game we did um Actually, is this, no, actually the next game we lost after this, so it's 4 out of 5. Correction. Sorry about that. But anyways, uh, tips and tricks for you guys. First off, you guys should already know, and most people even uh, comment in my videos, say it when uh, when I do it wrong, but stop stacking the same perks, <laughs> basically. And I, did, I do it a lot sometimes, and uh, you know, sometimes we forget. We'll just hop into a game and get ready to go. But make sure you're ready to go before you go. So... Um, the best perks to use if you're uh, playing as the assault, and most of you guys want to play with with the assault because it has probably the better weapons, is the um, squad suppression. It's gonna help you suppress your enemies, especially from long range distances. You're gonna be finding yourself in a lot of long range gunfights, medium to long range, because the maps are huge. There's still four squads. There's still a lot of players on the map. But they're going to be mostly um, from an angle or from a distance. So make sure that you guys are using um, you know, the best weapons that you possibly can for medium to long range gunfights. Short range aren't going to occur as much. And um, so let's go on to tip number two. Which is to actually uh, grab light armor as you guys can see in this video. I'm going to do some damage with the light armor. But then it kind of gets uh, taken out. It gets blown up. Um, the first time and then the second time and then the second half of the video you'll see it blown up but the LAV is probably the best thing that you can do you can even bait your enemy towards it so if you just um, not hide around it but kind of guard it and hold your ground I don't find that if you stay in one position um, or you stay in one place area you're holding your ground you're not really camping because uh, camping in my opinion is sitting in a corner and waiting for somebody to run by and shooting them in the back that's camping but if you're holding your ground you're pointing towards where you think your enemy is coming and you're actually able to take them down and you're holding a position that is holding your ground that's not camping at all so I don't want to hear um, you know all you guys um, or any of you other players that like to rush around say this is camping but it's not at all you'll see some of it in uh, most areas holding high ground is probably gonna help you guys win the game as well there's a lot of places and a lot of maps if you hold the hills if you hold down um, you know different sections of the map and you're above everybody else you could kind of see where things are happening and be able to coordinate attacks because once you look down and you can see where your enemies are spawning from you can plan your attacks you could uh, you know have one guy rush to the left or rush to the right you could rush from different angles so it's not camping at all anyways moving on to tip number three fill out your roles that means you gotta have a class per um, per person that means you can't have two of the same classes unless you really need them like the engineer is probably one class you'll probably really really need if somebody grabs the LAV and starts destroying everybody and um, that you need to do immediately because the LAV can win games very quickly very quickly if you guys don't know and if you guys want a tip and trick on how to use the LAV when you're backing out of a small enclosed areas um, zoom out or use the third person zoom or the third person um, camera I'm sorry to actually see where you're going and see what's the best way to get out because sometimes it's kind of hard to see out of the screen and just you know be able to turn and stuff like that and another thing is to circle the maps a little bit because people do spawn on outside the areas of the maps and um, that's another tip as well stay uh, away from the middle of the maps unless they have high grounds and even if they do um, it's not gonna be good for too long because those can get destroyed and if you do get kills um, you know in one place and you're holding it down try to move to the next place as well because you can have people that spawn around you and start to kill you uh, pretty quickly another tip for you guys uh, tip number what is this three spread out but stay together um, this should be very obvious but um, spreading out keeps everybody uh, 
able to uh, you know hold down one section and never you'll never get flanked if you spread off because if you stay too close together somebody could easily come out behind you guys and knife every single person anyways this is really gonna help you guys um you know uh, stay mobile as well because when you're spread out nobody's gonna stay in the same place because they already know one position is held down it gives you kind of a sense of security but at the same time you can't all you can't um, you know always depend on your teammates you have to watch your back sometimes you have to watch the flanks that people aren't watching uh, but yeah anyways uh, tip number four is silence uh, silence is probably golden is key to winning some games but like I said medium to long range gunfights um, are going to take away the silencer but if you if you can't stay hidden and if you do want to um, make sure you use the suppressor and by using the suppressor it means that uh, you know post patch they did a lot of things to the suppressor so the, um, basically what it did was uh, you know add a little bit of a spread a lot more spread if, if you're using four grip uh, suppressor combination your, uh, your long range game is going to suffer so it's going to take a lot more bullets to kill your enemy so that's why I recommend that uh, at least one person on your uh, squad is uh, running squad ammo or you have a support guy out there dropping ammo because that guy, that player that's going to remain hidden is going to be vital to the team as well because if you had one person uh, hidden on your team who the enemy team can't really uh, track then that person is going to be able to sneak into uh, the lines and be able to take out the rest of the squads and that's what you're really going to need especially when it's a 3v... Uh, 3v whatever you could have you know as many as up to what five five guys shooting at you um at a time and it sucks um that's why this game mode is very difficult anyways let's move on to the next tip uh which is actually um play through the end of the round a lot of times uh, people tend to quit games because they're losing or they're getting their straw they're not you know getting enough points the score is too high or they join, join really late uh, so battlefield compensated for that if you join the game late you get 200 extra uh, round uh, points for actually finishing the round um, and 200 points for winning or so so those points do add up and uh, they kind of do help you level up so play every game finish every game now on this is is this gonna help you skill wise it's gonna help you become a better player because if you're not always quitting you're not always giving up and it's gonna help you win uh, a lot more games and uh, get your win uh, streak up and become and realize how uh, good of a player that you are um, and another uh, tip for you guys as well the last tip the most vital tip that uh, you guys probably don't know how to take advantage of is have fun in the end battlefield 3 is just for fun just to uh, go out there have fun and uh, you know kill some noobs <laughs> right Anyways, that's all you guys really got to do um, you know pay attention to also the mini map when you guys are playing seriously um, especially on squad uh, Deathmatch and squad rush know where your enemy is coming from because um, you know it does give you kind of a heads up even though you might be killing one person at one point somebody else could pop up on the mini map and you know kind of obliterate your team so you always got to be vital with that as well anyways uh, weapon tips and tricks the weapons that I mostly suggest high powered weapons high damage weapons because you're gonna be in some serious gunfights these aren't regular uh, you know game modes that you just go in there and expect to win automatically you have to have some type of weapon that's gonna help you uh, win most of the time I use M16 A3 or AEK 971 those are your best best the F2000 as well uh, it's been helping me a lot um, I started using it and it, it does have a seriously high fire rate even though the initial recoil on the F2000 is a bit high kinda like the FAMAS like the first shot will be really really high but it can be um, you know very useful in close quarters or very useful at long range if you just burst or um, actually tap and single shot. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed these uh, tips and tricks I have for you guys. More to come. Sorry I had to bring this video out so late. Um, you know, life hits you. But anyways, um, be sure to like and subscribe uh, on these videos. They do take some time to do and to go out there and actually, you know, test everything, see what's good and see what's not to give you guys uh, the most educated tips. Peace.